Hi, and welcome to Allen High School. And kiddos, we're talking about the lab and chemicals and chemical safety. And there's a couple of ways that chemical safety is communicated. Um, in a moment, we're going to talk about an MSDS sheet. But these MSDS sheets often show something very similar to an NFPA diamond. It's not always exactly the NFPA diamond, but very similar to that. NFPA stands for National Fire Protection Association, and they've developed this diamond that gives us a very quick look at the hazards that a chemical may have associated with it. Now, we are going to give you a simplified version of this uh, because the scale here, these one through four, are subtly different for each of the categories. And we've simplified it just to give you the broad general at a glance idea uh, and some of the words you don't quite understand yet so um, just kind of run with what we're going to be doing I think it's going to be enough for you to understand the chemical issues that we want to deal with uh, the first is the left hand diamond and you should know this by the position not just the color because we can't print in color when we make your quizzes so you need to know the positions that's going to be the health hazard the top is the flammability hazard. The right is the reactivity hazard, you know, how chemically reactive it is. Like if I put so, uh, sodium metal into water, it's, you know, pretty explosively reactive, for example. And then the bottom diamond is for very special information that we want to communicate. Um, again, for example, let's go back to that sodium. If we have sodium metal, you might see a symbol like this with a line through it, and that means don't get water anywhere near this chemical, all right? So zero means basically no hazard. One is slight. Two is it is a hazard. Three is an extreme hazard and four is deadly. So you need to memorize these positions and you need to memorize what these numbers mean. All right, so um, if we looked at this example here, um, we have a three in the left hand position. That left hand position is health and that uh, three means it's an extreme health hazard. Okay. We have a zero up on the top. You need to recognize that that is discussing flammability. And there is no hazard for the flammability because it's a zero. And two, you'll have to memorize is reactivity and the reactivity has a, um, a hazard level. Okay, so you have to know how to read that for your quizzes. Now an MSDS sheet, there is one in your notes. I have it here, it's very difficult to see. This is the Flynn at a glance. That's very similar to your NFPA. Now, you are going to have to Google Flynn for your labs, and this is what I do. I just Google Flynn MSDS, and you're going to get the Flynn site, and you look up an MSDS. For your lab, you're going to have to look up an MSDS sheet for at least one chemical that's, that is used in the lab. So you want to become familiar with that. Um, Flynn does a really nice job of summarizing the information quite well. The type of information that's required is standardized. The formatting of the information is not standardized. And so I'm going to go back to my questions knowing that you can look at this. And it says, do we need to be concerned about the flammability? And the answer is no. Hydrochloric acid is not flammable. And you can see that at the Flynn, at a glance, the flammability rating is a zero. Um, how should we store this substance? I have an acid cabinet. We have acid cabinets in the back. And that's where we store our acids, and we don't want any water around. 
if we can avoid it. And we don't want uh, certain types of chemicals around them. Uh, where you're going to learn about a organic chemicals are sometimes reactive with acids. So we want to be very careful that they're stored away from other chemicals. Um, what are some of the health hazards? Well, acids are severely corrosive. You're going to be burning if you get an acid on you. If you get a base on you, you're more likely to feel slimy until it's starting to cause some real damage. So if you're feeling a little slimier than normal, you probably got some base on you and you want to get over to the sink or the eye wash to wash it off right away. Um, so you want to avoid all body contact with the uh, HCL. Um, what do we do if you accidentally swallow it? And I keep MSDS sheets. I'm, I'm working on having those out for every lab, but we can look them um, up in a heartbeat. You want to drink one to two cups of water or milk. Never had that happen. I think there's a little saying, Johnny was a chemist, but Johnny is no more. What Johnny thought was H2O was H2SO4. <laughs> yeah, Johnny drank some acid. So we don't want to do that, um, but we're going to call poison control and take good care of you. So you just be very, very careful in the lab, and we don't have to worry about it. Okay, um, that's it for now. For the glassware, we're we've already done. You should have already done an activity in class, day one. So we're going to skip that. You have to know glassware by sight and function. So that's the expectation. Make sure you've studied those. And when we come back in our next video, we're going to talk about measurement, accuracy, precision, and other great lab info. So until then, this is... Signing off.